what what Jalen Rose doesn't understand, Jay Williams doesn't, you know, and I'm not beating up these guys, but with all these Kendrick Perkins, with all these guys, they can't be themselves. Steve, I'm going to say something that uh, the audience, some of the audience will be like, oh, Whitlock's just being self-serving, self-aggrandizing, patting himself on the back. What, but, but it's just, I'm just, I'm sorry, it's just factual. <laughs> when ESPN ran me out of there, that was them sending out a bat signal. Men with balls aren't welcome. We don't want any real men. We want feminized men. And so our intel, because I was the intellectual backbone for masculine men at ESPN. That's what I represented. They run me off. And, and they say, no, guys, you, you see Bomani Jones, Howard Bryant, these feminized men, that's our blueprint. That's our, the, the kind of masculine energy we want come from these guys that are highly feminized and have a matriarchal point of view and are basically Yas queens themselves. And, and what, what Jalen Rose doesn't understand, Jay Williams does, you know, and I'm not beating up these guys, but with all these Kendrick Perkins, with all these guys, they can't be themselves without someone like me that's able to argue down and stand toe to toe with all these Ivy League educated executives they got and all the other little, uh, all the feminists they got running around there. I'm not scared of none of them because the truth's on my side. I know how to articulate it. These athletes don't. They need to be backed up by someone with a pair. And what they're finding out is like Stephen A. Smith's pair ain't big enough. He, he's not smart enough to stand toe to toe with these guys. He can occasionally uh, put a Malika Andrews, a child, in her place. But for the long haul, for the real fight with the executives and all the, the feminists running wild and the, the, the feminized male executives they got running around there, they're not smart enough. Dave Roberts, who's the executive backing uh, Stephen A. Smith, he's not smart enough. And, and, and I'm not trying to pick on any of these guys. I'm just telling you the facts. And, and so they don't have anybody on the inside that can back them up intellectually and, and explain uh, these situations to them and for them on the air that would give them the room to be real men. And so now, you know, Jay Williams understands that. He went to Duke. He's actually a pretty smart guy. And that's why he's taking the social media. And maybe just what you're saying, he's uh, ready to get out of ESPN. He's ready to draw a line in the sand with him. And I, I think eventually it may take some time, but the rest of them are going to grow up here too and, and say, you know, this check is good. Uh, but Lord have mercy, I can't wear this skirt comfortably. Uh, I'm going to leave that to Bomani and Howard Bryant.